My message today might best be illustrated through the experiences of a young couple whom I will call John and Gail. John was a thoughtful, kind young man, affectionate with a frank and open manner. He sincerely tried to obey the Lord's commandments and found honest contentment in the joys of family life. Gail, his wife, was young, attractive, high-spirited, but inclined toward more worldly interests and activities. The society in which they lived was, in general, one of affluence and materialism. People seemed preoccupied with temporal gain, social status, entertainment, and self-gratification. Religious leaders were concerned about the apparent breakdown in family life and moral standards. In the early years of their marriage, John and Gail were blessed with children, first a boy and then a girl. But Gail seemed disinterested in her domestic responsibilities. She longed for glamour and excitement in her life and was frequently away from home at parties and entertainments, not always with her husband. In her vanity, Gail encouraged and responded to the attentions of other men until eventually she was unfaithful to her marriage vows. Throughout, John encouraged Gail to appreciate the joys of family life and experience the rewards of observing the laws of God. He was patient and kind, but to no avail. Shortly after the birth of a third child, a son, Gail deserted her husband and children and joined her worldly friends in a life of self-indulgence and immorality. John, thus rejected, was humiliated and brokenhearted. Soon, however, the glamour and excitement that had attracted Gail turned to ashes. Her so-called friends tired of her and abandoned her. Then each successive step was downward, her life becoming more and more degraded. Eventually, she recognized her mistakes and realized what she had lost but could see no way back. Certainly, John could not possibly love her still. She felt completely unworthy of his love and undeserving of her home and family. Then one day, passing through the streets, John recognized Gail. Surely he would have been justified in turning away, but he didn't. As he observed the effect of her recent life, all too evident, a feeling of compassion came over him, a desire to reach out to her. Learning that Gail had incurred substantial debts, John repaid them and then took her home. Soon John realized, at first with amazement, that he still loved Gail. Out of his love for her and her willingness to change and begin anew, there grew in John's heart a feeling of merciful forgiveness, a desire to help Gail overcome her past and to accept her again fully as his wife. Through his personal experience, there arose in John another profound awareness, a realization of the nature of God's love for us, his children. Though we disregard his counsel, break his commandments, and reject him, when we recognize our mistakes and desire to repent, he wants us to seek him out and he will accept us. John had been prepared through his personal experiences for a divine mission. Though I have taken some literary license in telling the story, it is the account, perhaps allegorical, of Hosea, the prophet of the Old Testament, and his wife, Gomer. Portraying God to ancient Israel as a loving, forgiving father, Hosea foreshadowed more than most Old Testament prophets the spirit and message of the New Testament, the Book of Mormon, and modern revelation. 